All right, component number nine is our front label pocket. Could be called the front pleated pocket. It's got two parts, as you can see from the PDF guide. All of it is gonna be accent color pieces. So let's open up the box. It's getting a lot lighter in this box. So there's the final triangular piece. This one's got four cuts, two on either side of the guide notch, and just your standard center notch with uh, quarter guides. There's our front pleated pocket piece. That one's an oddly shaped piece. It's the only one with the two dots drilled into it. A little top triangle. This is for the top of the pleated pocket. And then a piece of uh, zipper strip is what it's called in accent color. You can see the last two pieces there for our harness. In here, our last zipper pull, our last zipper chain, and we're gonna grab our little label pocket as well. So it's pretty exciting. At, at this stage, your box is almost empty. Just a few final little pieces here. All right, let's get organized here. This is kind of the configuration that we're looking at first. We're gonna create the face of it, just like we did on the inside of the bag. So we're gonna need this piece, this piece right there, and this piece up top. And then our zipper chain goes right there. And then we have to pick a label. When you look at the finished piece, let me move these out of the way for a sec. When you look at the finished piece, what we're looking at on this face is a whole bunch of little pieces here. The first thing we actually have to do is slide the zipper chain, should be the 11 and a half inch zipper chain, slide that open and put on our pull. Just like that. Only slide it up maybe a third to a half of the way up there and I'll, I'll tell you why in a second. And we're gonna attach that piece face-to-face, -face, our zipper strip, right there. And that's gonna get folded over with a 3 8 inch seam allowance like that. And then we're gonna come along with our pleated pocket front. Attach that face-to-face -to, -face to the zipper chain on the side, fold it over, and then top stitch like that. Okay, let's do that. We've got the bottom, we're gonna attach it to. Remember our chain goes on top and we hand walk it over the chain. We'll double this up over the chain. Totally unnecessary, gives me more peace of mind when I'm uh, using my backpack to just double that up. All right, now our zipper chain is locked in there. You can see that's the bottom, the top is up here. The reason we leave that raw and open is because we actually have to attach the side pleated pocket first and then attach the triangle up there. But before we do that, let's talk about this label here. Your kit is gonna ship with all of the labels uh, that we have. So right now, we've got this front, this kind of smaller mountain range. Then we've got this, br uh, this brown squared topo map. I'm going to go ahead and match this piece and use that, uh, that mountain range. And after doing this several times, I've found that the trick is pretty simple. What I want you to do is draw a line the base of the dots, like that. So I've connected them, right? Now if you draw a secondary line, roughly an eighth inch lower, that's the base of where our label needs to be, right? So if you cover that up, that'll line up nicely. If you go right dot to dot like this, what happens is this corner or this corner gets sucked into the hole and then it 
bunches up in a really weird way. So lowering it slightly like that uh, is really going to help. And do as much hand walking as you can. Um, that's going to make sure that it stays nice and clean. You can get close to the edge. I'm not going to start on a corner. I'm going to start about a third of the way in. No back stitching required on this. Pulling it nice and tight. You can see I'm hand walking it. Okay. Does not line up exactly. So what we can do is we can move the needle or we can move the work underneath the needle to where it lands exactly in that corner right there like that. Just like that. Needles down, rotate my work, pull that label so that it's nice and flat and straight still. You can keep hand walking if you want. Totally up to you, it's not gonna hurt anything. Once again, lift up ever so slightly, move it to the corner. Really good spot. Foot up, rotate. And once again, we're gonna pull this straight. Once you get pretty good at this, you can start trying to actually use the machine to stitch it. Even if you have to take a little bit of extra time, really line that up. Okay, now the trick here, this is the hard thing, as you stitch back over, the stitches that you already created, you want to land in the exact same hole that's already there. There we go. What this does is it acts as a back stitch without actually doing a back stitch. You can see on the back side here, because I avoided those holes being in the exact corners, my Threads did not get sucked in, and my front of the pocket stayed nice and flat. Real gently hit those threads. It is easy to burn your label, so don't, don't risk it if you don't have to. All right, so now that's in place. What we're going to do is we're going to take our zipper chain. It's going to attach like this, face to face, so we're going to flip it over, go corner to corner, edge to edge, with a quarter inch seam allowance. Place needle down, lift foot up, rotate your fabric, pull the zipper out of the way. Don't pull it all the way up, otherwise you'll have to unstitch everything and start over. All right, so that's in place. Now we're going to top stitch. Start here, top stitch all the way down. You've been practicing your top stitch up to this point. Now is the time to let it shine.
All right, our top stitch. Get this out of the way. Yeah, a little wonky here, but overall, nice and straight. Now, where's that top little triangle piece? Ah. All right, next step, we're going to go ahead and take our USA Made. Take your top triangle, attach it upside down, just like that. There's a very narrow seam allowance here, something like a, a quarter inch or less. Just needs to sit on the very edge because what we're gonna do is attach this face to face to the top of our, of our pleated pocket front. And that's gonna be a 3 8 seam allowance it's going to fold over like that. Go ahead and use our 3 8 seam allowance. Go face to face. Corners lined up. Edges lined up. Should be nice and square. made flag it's facing the right direction I'm gonna double over that zipper chain just like I did on the bottom it's gonna reinforce everything and that is the face finish now uh, just as a side note, this other label can go anywhere, but uh, yeah, for now we'll just set that aside so it's not in the way. All right, now we have to attach the back of this pleated pocket. And it's going to be face to inside, just like that. And that way when you zip it open, you see actual face fabric or outside fabric uh, and not kind of that shiny wrong side. Okay, so what I've found is if you go line up this back corner here, line up that top corner here. Now this is going to be tricky, but I want you to try to stitch with an eighth inch seam allowance. It's very narrow, but after all that we've been through, I think you will do totally great. Okay, the reason we want to do an eighth inch seam allowance along this edge specifically is because when we use a quarter inch seam allowance on this chipper chipper, because when we use a quarter inch seam allowance on this zipper chain while closing the bag, it will hide our eighth inch there. So my needle is down, I'm at the very bottom corner, I'm going to lift my foot up, rotate my fabric. When it comes to the pleat, I'm going to show you on this side, when it comes to the pleat, the easiest thing to do is line these corners up like this, so that they're perfectly in line and pinch that and then find where that cut is and tuck that underneath like this. See how that works? So line up those corners, tuck that in so that this notch overlaps right there. Just to make it a little bit easier on ourselves, we're going to stitch maybe Hmm, three inches or so. The more exact you can be with this pleat, uh, the more even it's going to be. But 
it's not structural or anything. It's all aesthetic. So if it's not perfect, don't sweat it. Most important thing is that these corners line up. Again, needle is down, foot comes up, rotate my work. Now I'm going to line edge to edge up this side. Now, now that that's locked into place, you can fold this over, find where that notch is. Make sure to fold it along that same line so that we can line that fabric up. That is a finished front pleated pocket. And if you want to check how good you are at the pleat, which I can already tell I'm off, you're going to measure from the edge of the pleat to the edge of the fabric. I'm at five and five eighths, and here I'm at five and five eighths. Oh, sweet, nice and even. So from here to here and here to here tells you how even your pleat is. So it looks like I'm, I'm pretty much square. All right, now that your pleated pocket's all finished and ready to go, this is the flagship of your bag and kind of my opinion, because this is usually the first thing people see. Um, so let's move on to the final component. You've made it to the last component, which is the harness system. Super excited to dive into this one. It's gonna be a long one. It's gonna be a complicated one, but uh, it's not gonna be an impossible one. It's just gonna have some technical challenges that we'll, we'll kind of discuss as we go, so. Uh, awesome job, and I'll see you in the next one.